Hi everyone, welcome to Bat Thrift Crazy. I'm Joanne and welcome to my very messy kitchen. My apologies for this straight up, but I have been really busy doing some thrift flips and my haul is all spread out in front of me, so it's going to just have to be what it is. And now Lewis has joined. <laughs> so, um, as you can guess, I have a thrift haul for you today and this is from really all over. I went to an estate sale yesterday where it was the third day and I was really expecting some really good prices there, like maybe 75% off because it, as I said, it was the third day and usually estate sales cut down to at least 60%, up to 75% off on the third day. These folks were 50% off, but I did uh, spend a little bit of money there. I mean, I do mean a little bit. And then I have some things from the Raleigh or North Raleigh uh, Ministries. I have some things from the Durham Rescue Mission Outlet. And then I went to Goodwill. I don't go to Goodwill very often, but I thought, you know, every once in a while, let's just go see what they have. And I made out pretty well. And then I also have a couple of things from that little thrift store that I talk about every once in a while that's right down the street from my house, Recovered Treasures. And I'll show you what I picked up there first. On Saturdays, the entire store is 25% off. So if I get a chance, it's a good little just run in and run out and see what I can find. Well, I did luck out this time because I picked up these, those canvas storage bins. And these coordinate quite nicely. They were originally $1.75 a piece. So that was 25% off. And they all do luckily have the that kind of cardboard piece that goes into the bottom that helps to make them a little more sturdy as I'm trying to get more organized in my office and this is going to help me do that so I picked up maybe four of them two of that really deep teal color and then two of the florals um, let me see where can we go next um, oh, let's go to North Raleigh Ministries. Uh, this particular thrifting trip, I did not get a whole lot, but I couldn't resist this particular planter. It's not vintage. Well, I'm saying it's not vintage, but I'm pretty sure that it is not vintage. But for the summertime and for those beach lovers, I think it is absolutely adorable. So we picked that up. Then the only other thing I got there that day, and I paid up for it, but I haven't seen one out in a long, long time, was a fairy lamp. So I picked this up. I did pay $8 for it. I'm going to price this at the booth. I have to price it at at least $16 in order to make it, you know, double, make it worth it. 20 does that sound too high i'm really not sure but picked it up anyway because i haven't seen one in a very long time so we got that uh let's see that was north raleigh ministries let's go on because they are piled in front of me to goodwill i did really well with the pillows there now i will say that main street i'm selling pillows quite well at main street I have sold a couple of them at Gresham, but Main Street, for some reason, pillows seem to sell pretty well there. Pillows at My Goodwill are just in this big bin, and they are $1.99 a piece. Now, they do price some of them up, and they will be marked in black marker, which I hate. But for some reason, these were not marked up. These are... Oops very very heavy um, I believe they're feather stuffed they have the zipper cover that can come off now there I got two of these and yes this is all wood beading on here now it is missing like two little wood beads right there I am hoping that in my jewelry stash I have all kinds of everything in there that I'm going to be able to find, fingers crossed, two little beads that I can use to replace those two that are missing. And if not, I'm just gonna sell it as it is because it is really not 
that noticeable. The other one is in perfect condition. And these pillows weigh, they weigh a ton. What is this back there? Oh, that might be, I wonder if that's a tag to see maybe what the original cost was of them. Oh gosh, well, they were brand new. Um, they are from Serena and Lily. It, from 2007, does not have a price on them. But, love these pillows. Uh, let's see. Two of those, only found one of this, but I think it is absolutely beautiful. This is all embroidered on here. Isn't that so, so pretty? Now this does not come off the zipper. There is no zipper covering on here. I'm going to clean that tag up a little bit so there's like no tag left on it. But this is in beautiful, beautiful condition. I think it's just like a fluff filled, but that's gonna look gorgeous on somebody's, maybe their screened in porch on a wicker chair. Can you just, just see that? Oh my goodness, so, so pretty. Um, then I just found one of these. I was hoping there were two of them. Uh, this one also does not have a zippered cover on it. And I do have to, where did that go now? I just saw it. Clean up where they took the tag off of it. Oh, here, right here. See, it's kind of fraying here, but I'll just clean that up with some scissors. And I got this to put on my bench up at Gresham that I did because these colors remind me very much of the transfer that I put onto the bench. So I think this is gonna be a really nice accent on uh, that bench. And then the last in the pillows are these two green, is this gingham, I think, pillows. Uh, they do have a zipper opening on them. And these sound like this is a, a feather filled pillow. But these are great for spring and summer too because of this color and the, the gingham check. Great pillows. So I made out like crazy on the pillows. Oh, and one more thing. This was in the bin also at Goodwill. And this I will put away. Now, in the previous haul, I had said that I was only going to pick up seasonal decor that I had to pack away if I thought it was something really nice. This I thought was really nice. It's a table runner. And it has this pumpkin. I don't know if this is... This is machine, put on by machine. And I don't really know if there is a name to that, how they put that on there or not. It's on both sides, but I thought this was a beautiful table runner. It's very neutral and just has a little kind of statement on the end of it without being too fall or Thanksgiving in your face. But I did like this. And before I go on with the rest of the haul, because my mind is a terrible thing to waste, I wanted, I wanted to make sure that I let you know what I have named my mannequin. And I, have, uh, I had been writing down the names of the folks that had made suggestions and what their suggestions were. And there were several people that picked the same name that I did. And I'll be back in just a second because I want to grab those names. Okay, so there was a Vicki M, Dottie, Judith S, Audrey B, and Lynn H. All of those ladies had the suggestive name as the one that I chose, which was Millie. So the dress form that I picked up in one of my previous hauls, and I'll link that haul at the end of this video, I have decided to call her Millie. And I wanna thank everybody. I had a lot of suggestions and there were some great suggest suggestions for her name. The reason I chose Millie was 
uh, I was thinking of like Thoroughly Modern Millie for some reason that popped into my head, but the, the first large dog that I had when I was down in uh, Florida that I adopted, uh, her name was Millicent. And for short, she was Millie. Um, I, I uh, adopted her from a private rescue. She had been there for a year and a half, had been adopted out once, if I'm not mistaken, and returned. She had been there so long that um, they would let her out of her kennel and she would carry a toy with her, which they gave to me when I adopted her. And she would just follow the kennel attendants around from kennel to kennel to kennel as they did their work. And uh, she was named after the, the owner or founder of the, uh, of the rescue, after his favorite aunt. His favorite aunt's name was um, Millicent. And he named that dog um, after his favorite aunt. And I had Millie for, I think she was two and a half when I adopted her. I think I found her in a parking lot or something, if, if I remember correctly. Um, like I said, they had her for a year and a half. I had Millie, I believe, 10 years. Um, and she had cancer. And finally one night, she turned to me and said it was, it was time for her to go. Uh, but Caitlin remembers her. My daughter remembers her because she did move up to North Carolina uh, with me. She was the best dog. So my dress form's name is official, and it is Millie. So thank you to everyone who put in a suggestion. I really do appreciate that very much. So I wanted to share that, like I said, because my mind will for totally forget. I'll finish the video and then I'll be, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell them the name of the dress form. So to finish the haul, uh, I also picked up at Goodwill. This was a good price. Um, these were $5 for both of these. So $2.50 a shelf. And the person that donated them was even nice enough to include the hardware. And I think I'm going to put these up at Main Street because I have enough wall at Gresham and things on it now that I'm good. But this will be good for Main Street and putting some smalls on there. And then these pictures, I don't know, I couldn't resist these. These were $4 a piece. Look at how pretty this is. I think I want to redo the frame. I'm not crazy about the color on the frame, but the print, there's one. And here is the other. I think these are just beautiful. And especially now, oops, I'm trying to show them to you without the glare. There we go. I think these are just beautiful. I love them, love them. Um, I could clean up the frames and see if they just go like that. You know, why put the work into it if they're going to sell in the original form that they're in? Maybe I'll do that first, see how they go over. And if they don't sell in a few weeks, then maybe take pull them and paint the frames. Um, let me see. Now we can go to Durham Rescue Mission. And this is the outlet. Picked up this dress, which I think is really pretty. It's long to the floor. It almost looks tie-dyed. This would be a great dress to take with you, like on a cruise or something like that. This is a, let's see an extra, extra large by Cozy, which I've never heard of, but that doesn't mean anything. Um, brand new with tags still on it. Gorgeous dress. So we got that one. Uh, again, what else is new running out of space? I don't have belts in either one of my booths, not because I'm opposed to doing it, just because when I find belts, they're in terrible shape, though. You know, the leather or the plastic is cracked on them. And, but this one was in perfect condition, absolutely perfect condition. This is by Aeropostal. And believe it or not, it's a small, it says, small petite. This thing retailed for $29.50 in the store. So maybe I can start putting belts into my booth. This scarf I picked up, a couple of reasons. Where's the tag? 
This is 100% linen. Uh, this is nice not only as a scarf, it's big, but you can use this as a shoulder wrap too. Just, you know, when it gets chilly, when you're on that cruise. <laughs> oh, that would, that would look nice with that dress, actually. And it gets chilly at night, you just wrap that around your shoulders. Uh, let me see. Picked this up. This is older. This is from Thermos. Made in West Germany, and it has a date of 1984 on it. I just have to clean up the outside. The inside is in beautiful condition. I think that's, yeah, that's a glass insert in there. Beautiful, like I said, gorgeous condition. Going for a haircut on Wednesday. This little Lennox clock got lucky enough. I think that's a Lennox. Yep. Isn't that pretty? I have to replace the battery in it. Gorgeous. Needs just a little bit of cleaning up here. And I do hope that I have a tiny, tiny little battery for this. But love that little clock. I couldn't believe there's not a chip or anything on it. That was pure, pure luck. Because something like this in the bins, it just doesn't last. I picked this up for myself. I collect little kind of like bathroom things, medicine chest type things. And I have a cabinet, big cabinet in my downstairs bathroom, a half bath where I keep them. And I found this certified brand 12 aspirin tin from a &S Pharmaceutical Corporation. I don't know how I saw that at the bottom of one of the bins, but I got that. And then, oh, this these are just two, oh, these are smaller, aren't they? Oh, they are. I got one, two, three of this kind of suede-like material of those baskets, just like the other ones that I showed you, or the bins that I'm gonna to use to help organize in my office. But these are smaller. This size, right, the other size, the deep turquoise and the ones with the floral on them, they fit perfectly into my the cubbies in a bookcase that I have in my office. I already tried them. Then the last that I have to share with you is from the estate sale. Like I said, they were very expensive. Um, even on the third day, they were only 50% off, but this is what I picked up. I got this rolling pin, very long. This, that's a weapon. I am telling you, that is a weapon. But I think I'm gonna be putting, trying and putting some transfers on that. Um, maybe painting it first. I'm like, what do you think, Louis? Um, maybe putting um, paint on it first and then some transfers. And then they had several bins under a table in the kitchen where they had all kinds of cleaning supplies and stuff like that. And I thought, well, this is perfect because, um, well, let's see, that was a dollar and all the cleaning supplies and stuff were originally $2. So now they were a dollar. So I picked up this uh, cabinet and wood magic. It says cleans, protects and restores. So I thought, you know, for a buck, I can give this a, a try on some of the wood projects that I have been doing. This is guard, guardsman concentrate furnish furniture polish cream it cleans restores and protects we got that for a dollar that was originally 6.69 and then another guardsman cleans protects restores and protects furniture polish uh, this was originally five bucks so I picked all those up for a dollar. And then this was super, super cool. <laughs> I found this with a whole bunch of other books that they had. And the hardbacks were, hardbacks were $5. That's expensive. So the hardbacks were $5. Is that right? I think something like that. Forget what the paperbacks were. But I found this among the hardbacks. Oh wait, it's, of course it's backwards. <coughs> Webster's New 20th Century Dictionary Unabridged Second Edition. You'll see why I'm grunting here in a minute. Look at the size of this monster. Oh my goodness. This is huge. I have no idea what this weighs. 
it's over five pounds, definitely over five pounds. And I went to check out and, and it was the woman that was working there, um, she said, I think he would have that marked as a coffee table book. And I thought to myself, well, that's not, in my opinion, it's not a coffee table book. And I must have, I can't play poker because I must have had a look on my face. And she said, oh, she said, though, that would make it five dollars. And I and and uh, she I must have had a look on my face. And she said, oh, you don't like that. And I said, oh, well, I was hoping more, you know, 250. I was thinking more of it being just a hardback. And she said, OK, 250. She said, put it in your bag real fast. So I put it in my bag real fast. So I got that for 250. That's what I was expecting to pay. So I spent like six-ish dollars, six, a little over six dollars at the estate sale. So that's everything that I got in the last week of thrifting. My favorite, um, I kind of have to scope everything out now. Um, mm -hmm. You know what my favorite is? These pictures. These, I think these are beautiful. These are gonna be my favorite. I really, really like these. And I think I am gonna try them just as they are with the original finish on the frame. I'm gonna clean them up as best that I can and try them like that, see how they do. And then if they don't do well, I'll pull them and then paint the frames. Um, less work for me and somebody might prefer that original frame that came with the prints. So that's my favorite. Um, you know what to do. Go ahead and down in the comment section down below. Uh, let everybody know what your favorite find was from today's haul. Or if you had more than one, go ahead and let us know what your more than one was. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead, please, and share it with friends that you know um, enjoy thrifting. Leave me a thumbs up. A comment also would be lovely. And if you are new to the channel and you enjoy thrift haul videos and thrift flip videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and press the all notifications button so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I am currently editing a thrift flip video, which will be up later on in the week. Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Easter and I hope you have a great rest of your week. And until the next time that I see you, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching. Bye for now.